On this episode of the Atlanta Maker, we see what we can do with a dollar plate from Dollar Tree. The plate is too thick to fit on top of the honeycomb tray, so I've removed it and got out the risers that I used in the hammer video. For this plate I needed three of the risers and I centered the plate in the middle of the glow forge upside down so that we can engrave on the bottom of the plate. Alright, so we have a design that I put together just using the um, glow forge premium trial that's out there. Created some text uh, to engrave on this plate. Now one thing we have to do because the plate is upside down and we're engraving on the bottom to make it uh, safer for food, we're going to have to mirror these uh, all of this t this text and it's really easy to do it just by going over and say flip horizontal um, so that when this is read through the plate it'll read in the correct manner all right so now we need to determine our settings and um, for glass I'm gonna refer to the Glowforge setting document which I believe came from the Glowforge user group on Facebook and we're gonna go with the setting here for glass of 850 speed, 100 power, and 340 lines per inch. Uh, and they're saying we can do one or two um, passes on it. We're going to try one and see what it looks like. But the first thing we got to figure out is what to use for a material thickness. So let's go down to the Glowforge and we're going to use a neat little tool to uh, help us determine that. Now we need to determine the material thickness to enter in the GFUI. And we're going to do that with the machine off. We have the plate inside the machine and we're going to move uh, grab the gantry here move it over and move the head over to it being careful not to touch any of the mirrors or lenses and we're going to use this little tool and I'll put a link to it uh, out on uh, in the show notes here but this is a tool that will help quick us uh, help us quickly get uh, the setting that we need all right we're going to use the little tool here and we're going to put it on our material until it's about to touch uh, each of those little steps. So right now we're kind of between 0.375 and we're almost at 0.313. So maybe we'll give a try about uh, 0.35 or so. Uh, it's got a little bit of play in here between the 0.375, but doesn't quite make that. So let's go with 0.35 and put that into the application now. All right, so let's go up and pick the uncertified material, and then we're going to put our 0.35 in there. Hit submit. All right, so now we have to enter those settings. Remember, we're going to do 850 speed, um, 100 power, and 340 lines per inch. So let's pick this. We're going to go to manual. We're going to go speed, 850 power 100 lines per inch of 340. Let me set the rest of them up that way and then I'll be right back. All right, so now I have all of the settings set up for all each line of these and we can go and hit ready to print and let's see how long this is going to take. All right, it's going to take 12 minutes. Let's go down to the Glowforge. <music> go this turned out way better than I thought it would now after I engraved it I took it upstairs and washed it with some soap and water just to make sure we didn't get any glass pieces all over there but it turned out really nice I think I'm gonna play around with some more glass items and uh, maybe even see if I can put some stuff around the edges of that but uh, let me know what other kind of stuff you'd like to see and if you like the video hit like and subscribe if this is something you're interested in thank you